actually here's a picture of the valve crank and this piece uh, actuates the um, the uh, valve I'm, I'm gonna make this in two pieces actually um, if you guys can see this is a sixteenth of an inch diameter pin which is turned off center by a distance of uh, three thirty seconds and that I don't know, I just feel that's going to be a little, a little hairy to make. So, let me show you what I did here instead. Alright, so this piece I just, this is a piece of inch and eight steel that I just turned down in the uh, lathe. I didn't show that on camera, pretty straightforward. Um, it's an inch diameter from here to here. Uh, and this portion here is quarter inch diameter so I centered it in the mill on center and I took a number 58 uh, drill bit moved the table in the Y direction um, 330 seconds drilled that hole down then I went I brought the table back to the zero position in the Y direction and moved it quarter inch in the X axis and drilled the eighth inch hole. Then a piece of, I took a piece of 1 uh, drill rod and I turned this down to um, 42 and a half thousandths I think it came out. To, so it's about a half a thousandths interference fit here. So I'm going to throw this piece in the freezer later and I'll, I'll heat this piece up a little bit and this should just drop right in and um, I'll trim that off to the uh, specified length then. So um, all right, the only thing left on this right now before I go ahead and um, actually do that is cut this down um, to the overall length here. All right, so this um, so this whole uh, video series with the radial engine um, has really become quite a nightmare. Uh, not building the engine, not doing any of the machining and anything, but the video. Uh, I thought I would be able to save some time. Um, normally, I do every all my video editing on this. Uh, on this Acer laptop, it's it's kind of old. I don't know how many years old it is, but uh, you know, computer technology moves so fast. Um, so when I uh, when I process the videos uh, on this laptop, uh, it pretty much takes um, generally hours. I mean, sometimes uh, I'll set it up and I'll let it do the processing after I do all the edits. Uh, and I'll let it run overnight and let it just continually uh, process and then in the morning it's usually done. Um, so I figured let me try uh, using my wife's computer. That's a lot newer. Uh, it's a lot faster. It's a regular uh, desktop computer. Um, and it has a built-in card reader which is convenient. You can plug the card right in and um, you know uh, tr transfer the your video uh, and I can do I could do like a, a 15 minute video in probably, probably about half an hour um, which is great the downside of that is the card reader for whatever reason it is it's not reliable and I didn't realize that for quite a while and I lost probably 50% of the videos uh, for some reason. Uh, the videos either got corrupt or lost completely. And um, I didn't realize to what extent how much material that I lost until I started uh, doing these edits and, and putting these videos together. So um, I've been trying to, I've been trying to 
piece everything back together as much as I can. Um, I even thought about remaking some of the pieces. Um, but uh, nah, it's just um, I learned my lesson. I'm going to stick with my old reliable laptop here. Um, and I'll continue doing it on the laptop. I'm not going to be um, I'm not going to be playing with my wife's computer with this anymore. Uh, so um, so I apologize for for you know some of these videos not being very coherent um, and you know pieces missing and stuff. But uh, so uh, you know the future videos I'll I'll just I'll just stick to the old tried and true uh, method. Um, so, uh, all right, um, we'll, uh, without further interruption, we'll continue with what's left of the, uh, videos for the, uh, Elmer's number 11 radial engine.